Welcome to another Encounters episode. Today we take a look at a daytime sighting that took place in Minnesota. The usual trip down the road turned into an exciting experience for one person in the afternoon on April 26, 2018. They had just passed Olson Road driving north on Minnesota Highway 73, cresting a small hill when they saw it. About 125 yards ahead of them, there appeared to be a large brown animal sitting on the side of the road. As the vehicle approached within 60 yards, the figure turned and looked at him, then pushed itself to into a bipedal position and crossed the road. Getting across the highway in three large steps, it disappeared into the swampy area on the other side of the road. The witness stopped the vehicle and got out. He could see the grass all padded down where something large had been and the imprint where it had pushed off. However, due to the melting snow, the ground was too wet for distinct prints. The witness was unable to find any hairs left behind and did not look for scat. Being a hunter, he had observed bears in the past and he noticed that the hair on this creature was not like a bear's coat. The hair was four to six inches long and was matted, dull looking instead of smooth and shiny like a bear's. He had also noticed the very long legs and how the arms swung with the hands down to the knees. The creature had a flat face, there was no snout. There was a round type head and no noticeable neck. The witness estimated the height of the creature at around 7 to 8 foot tall. Weighed at around 350 pounds. With maybe a 60 inch chest. The other thing he noticed was the smell. It was nothing like any bears. This was the foulest, most rancid body odor he had ever imagined. When he returned a half hour later with his daughter to show her where he had seen the creature, the odor still lingered. In this area, there is plenty of water available, including a stream. The terrain is wooded with areas of swampy ground. In addition to a large variety of berries, there are deer, moose and small game. There are also coyote, wolf and bear reported in the area. Original report from the BFRO. This report presented by Crypto Crew team member Nancy Marietta. Sadly, Nancy passed away on January 1, 2022. We will continue to honor her and her research by sharing her work. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notifications bell. Find more reports and our sightings map at thecryptocrew.com. If you have had a sighting or encounter, then please contact us via our website. Thanks for watching and we will see you next time.